Wow, that's a long knife, everybody. You almost haven't seen that one yet. But anyways, what I want to share with you today is this little thing. I'm a jigger. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. It's a Fluger Supreme is exactly what it is. It has nine bone bearings, nine bearing system. It is a six four to one gear ratio. Mono and braid capacities. I will start with the mono because that's what's listed first since my camera won't focus in. 10 pound test at 175 yards. 12 pound at 145 yards or 17 at 100 yards. And then the braid. 20 pound test at 190 yards. 30 pound test at 140 yards, 50 pound test at 100 pound, I mean at 100 yards. <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. Nice slip up of the tongue. Everybody laugh at me for that, please. Give me a like. This frame part here, it's uh, air, um, high quality aircraft aluminum is what they're... Um, website says and I also think that's what the box says aircraft aluminum handle star gear which I believe almost all the bait casters are probably star star geared or star drag not gear star drag incredibly smooth as you can see I'm able to flip the handle around with one finger. Unless I push this button and that's a cast button. No. Oh, actually, I can still do it one-handed with the casting mechanism on right here's the um, magnetic braking system plus and minus of course you can figure that out the C lock system This is something that's on all the Fluger bait casters, or the ones that I have. That sea lock is so if you're out on the water on a boat, you can adjust. Um, this one doesn't have magnetic braking. I mean, it doesn't have the um, centrifugal brakes on it's just a magnetic my other two my patriarch and my patriarch xt which is a flagship reels i guess is how you'd want to call it because it's 200 dollar reel and 250 dollar reel and compared to a hundred dollar reel and for anyone that's curious yes i do own a lot of Flugers, half of my reels that I own that I'm going to be using are using over half now are Fluger. 
And why I choose Fluger is because they have longevity and they're reliable reel. And I've had good experience with all but one Fluger. And that was a President XT spinning reel, size 30. And it's just a gear. I can feel the gears in there making, like hitting on something. Maybe I should take it apart and clean it. Maybe I'll be lucky and Fluger will watch this. And they can give me advice. Or just send me a president. I'll take a president in the exchange. They can send me a free president reel. <laughs> Size 30 spinning. Which I know is not going to happen. But we can wish, can't we? <laughs> but other than that one reel, everything that I've had from Fluger, from their president, their original president with the cherrywood handle, sweet reel. So now I've got the Supreme, which a Supreme spinning reel is an awesome reel. So I'm expecting the same out of this to be awesome. And my friend has one. My friend Mountain Man Mike has one. This exact same, well almost the exact same reel except for his is left hand retrieve, mine is right. And I went shopping, I picked up. Two white chatterbaits. One has a um, trailer in it. Oh. And the other one apparently doesn't have a trailer in it. I'm confused. They cost the same. So I guess I get more for my money out of this one than I do this one. <laughs> Then I bought a couple packs of Thumper Tails that I don't have these specific colors. Kind of a white with a clear silver flake. Red body, then a smooth body. That's kind of a... Oh, what color does it say it is? Electric Shad. And then I picked up some of these hooks because, well, they look good and so I wanted to try them. So anyways, my plan, reason why I bought two of these chatterbaits is because, um, my viewers... I would like you to choose because I'm going to put one on that and make something cool with it. So I want some maybe a few color options to go with one of these chatterbaits. And I am planning on leaving the skirt on with it this time. So, if you give me some color options for a body and tail, I'll make a video of me tying it. And this long knife is a cold steel Norman sword. And then this piece of wood here, obviously I'm not finished making what it is. But it is going to be a cicada. And yes, I'm going to make it cicada colors. It's going to be a topwater lure whenever 
I get around to finishing it. I'm probably not going to do too much with the bottom. I'm probably just going to sand the rest to shape. Make it look pretty. I probably won't worry about trying to get this little groove out either because it's a top water so it's not going to matter with that groove on top the fish ain't going to see it and i'm going to halfway try and put something on there to resemble wings so but whenever whenever it's a project in the making whenever i get it finished i will have a video on it and then you're probably wondering why i have this here this is um a piece of petrified wood I found on the ground. I'm weird like that. I see petrified wood, especially nice specimens and different fossils. I like to pick them up because I'm also a rock person. And then a bag full of different furs. A ex coworker of mine gave me. She retired. And it has like rabbit fur and artificial fur this is artificial right here but so so like subscribe comment and kindly tap the bell notification so you know when I upload a new video. Share this with um, your friends and family if you like it. And please comment on some body and tail colors for this chatterbait. Peace and long life.